A5 rings or B6 rings. Not sure which one I want to use or set up first, so let's take a closer look. Welcome to another video here on my channel. For those of you that are new, my name is Lakia and welcome to the Chaotic Critic family. For my returning subscribers, welcome back. Here on my channel, I share planning and organizational videos plus so much more over on my blog chaoticcritic.com. The link is always in the description box. The whole premise of my channel is to share with you guys how I'm crushing the chaos in my life with hopes that you'll be inspired and encouraged to crush the chaos in yours. Today's video, we're going to be taking a closer look at my current planner dilemma. I feel like this time of year, I'm always switching up my planner system. And it's not so much the system, it's the size. So right now, I'm torn between an A5 ring planner and a B6 ring planner. Both of these I got on amazing deals. I really might end up setting up both, but as far as what I'm going to use, I'm leaning more so towards the B6, but I'm not sure yet. So we're going to take a closer look at the sizing. I'm going to share with you guys where I got them both from, all that good stuff. So the reason for me downsizing, the planner that I was using for the last couple of months or so was the one from Michaels, their functional binder, which is much larger than this. And I have it over here. I can show you a size difference. I have it over here and there's a ton of things on it. I did do a series featuring this planner. And setting it up and all that good stuff. So here is the functional binder and here is the A5. As you can see, it is a little bit wider and a little bit taller. So that's that. I wanted something more compact, something I could bring with me on the go, something I could put in a purse. Um, I don't really go much of anywhere, but I did want a smaller option because this, while I love the system inside, I just wanted it on a smaller scale, which I tend to do a lot of downsizing, it's something I do all the time. So that's where I went back to Michael's. I already had $15 in rewards. So I not only got this planner, but I got filler paper and I got this hole punch essentially for free because it was all on super clearance and the $15 covered it. It was actually exactly $14.50 because the, the um, cashier told me that I'd have 50 cents left over in my rewards and I was like okay so amazing deal for me to try this style out if I like it great if I don't want to use it right now that's fine too and the store didn't have a whole bunch of color options but I thought this gold would be really really nice so pretty standard you have the gold rings you have the pocket you have this little space back here to put a little list pad this here, these business card slots. I don't really care much about this stuff, a pen loop. I really just wanted to focus on the size. And the great thing about getting planners from Michaels is that the filler paper is of course there. Now they do have those notebooks that are like super colorful. That's not really my thing, but um, they have those that you could take apart and put inside of here. And then they also did upgrade and add some more I would say sleek options and not too colorful when it comes to the filler insert so that's that on the a5 very happy that I was in a sense able to get this for free from my previous purchases that I made at Michaels so to get this planner that's regularly like I think it's like 30 and it's on clearance for 10 I know this was on clearance for like seven bucks I'm, I'm still like lost at how I got all of it for under $15 when I look at the clearance prices, but thank God. Amen. Then we have the B6. I actually got the A5 first and then over the weekend I ordered this and this came super fast. This B6 rings is from Print Pression and it's one of their textured ones and here it is you have your pockets here you have your 
two pockets back here and then the silver rings and then instead of having an elastic closure like a TN you have the elastic band so closing it right now doesn't really do it justice because it folds up because there's nothing inside of here but I'm like really gravitating towards using this one opposed to the A5. Now, January can roll around and I may want something a little bit bigger and I go into the A5. So I think I may end up setting up both planners and just have them set up for when I want to move into them, if that makes sense. Like the functional binder, I'm not taking the setup out. I just have this cover and I have the black cover and it's just a matter of if I want to move back into here I don't really need to transfer anything because I use a lot of sticky notes in my planning anyway so I want to have this set up already um, and if I choose to do new dashboards fine but the guts of the planner are pretty much the same regardless of my system not my system my system is the same the guts of the planner, which is my system, is the same. It's just a different size that I would be using. Okay, so that's that. This, again, is from Print Pression. This was on sale. It was marked down to $22.50. And then with shipping, it came out to $28.50. It came super fast. They did have a few different colors. It. I just like this silver one. I thought the silver would be really, really nice um, and pretty neutral for what it was that I wanted to put inside and I do like the texture and it did come with a dust bag which is here and then also some um, coupon codes for both Jessenia printables and any plans printables I haven't printed any um, inserts for this at all and then also this little kit here which I would more than likely use in my memory planner so when it comes to which one I want to set up I did have to go and buy a separate hole punch for this because the one from Michaels is not adjustable and it was not working for me to punch the holes in this so I ordered one off of Amazon it'll be here by the end of the week and I will continue my setup that way to go ahead and set this up I do want to do more of a Christmas vibe inside of here and I have a lot of stuff coming from the latest gold mine and cocoa mistletoe collection so that's what's going to be going inside of here and then in this setup it's going to have more of like a fall-ish vibe um, with the stuff that I got in the latest jewel box. The paper would work great inside of here so that's what I'm thinking of doing but definitely this is going to have more Christmas deco and everything. So another issue that I have with this is that with the Michaels one, the paper is already ready to go. It's just a matter of me making my dashboards, adding it in, adding my personal touch. This, in addition to having to buy the, um, the hole punch, I'm kind of torn between inserts that I want to get. I know Lights Planner Action has printed inserts and So Much Crafting has printed inserts. I just haven't purchased any yet because one... I haven't found any that really jump out to me that I want to use. I've seen some and I'm like, eh, it's iffy. And then two, I don't want to wait until like the end of November to, you know, set this up. I want to use this now, which is why I bought the whole punch. So I could print some stuff and put it inside of here, but I'm just going to cut down um, some dot grid paper that I have and put it inside of here because that's basically what I plan with anyway because I don't really use inserts. So the dilemma comes down to this one is going to take a little bit longer to set up aside from me not only waiting for the hole punch but cutting down the paper and everything like that. This would be a quicker setup because I pretty much have everything ready to go. It's just my dashboards. I need to trim them down a little bit and then laminate them. So I don't know guys. I don't know but I'm so leaning towards this one and I hope that once I set it up it's what I want and it's a beautiful planner nonetheless and the shipping I got this on Monday and I ordered it on Friday so the shipping was super fast the quality is amazing 
anyone that's used print pressure before, they not only have ring planners, um, but they also have bound options as well, which is great. So B6 is just a size that I always gravitate back to. The A5 is more so of a half letter size to me, whereas this functional planner reminds me of a classic happy planner. So I have all three. I'm not using the big one right now. Um, but this is where I'm torn in between and it's like, just set this up and start using it now. I don't want to force myself to use any planner that I don't want to, but since I have the stuff, I will go ahead and set it up because my mind changes a lot. But as far as the one that I'm going to be using, I think it's going to be the B6. So uh, it's just the waiting game now because I thought that the whole punch that I had would work for this. And it did not. I did try. And I don't want... To, I could use my single hole punch. But I don't want to do that either. It's going to take me a while. And I just would rather have something, you know, very efficient and clean. If I do choose to create, you know, print out the um, printable inserts, I'll have a hole punch that works. So hopefully the one I ordered will work. Uh, I just want... I, I'm just like more so excited to set this up like between the stickers that I have coming in I just envision this dope holiday setup inside of here and yeah I'm also going to be adding more stickers to my pages because my planner needs to be an extension of me and it needs to have more of my style and my flair so you guys will see more of that when it comes to planning with sticky notes, planning with leftover stickers, all that, I have a whole bunch of videos for you guys to check out below. So my system isn't changing. My size of planner is changing. And then here we go for the size comparison. As you can see, here's the B6 compared to the A5. A5 is a little bit wider and a little bit taller. So it's not that it's not that much of a significant difference, but there is a little bit more room. And another reason I really like this B6 is because the cover is more flappy and I can fold it back like this if I wanted to write in it and I have my pockets that I can decorate and whatever else so I'm just really excited to set this one up more so than the A5 even though the A5 is going to get love I'm trying to justify <laughs> the A5 is going to get love too but I'm really excited to set up this B6 so let me know what you guys think down in the comment section are you torn between planner sizes um and this is not also these are planners that of course I'll have in my collection because I've downsized quite a bit these are planners that I have in my collection, but I'm not going to be using them at the same time as if I want something a little bit bigger than the B6 and I move it to the A5. If I want something bigger than the A5, then I move it to the Classic and the guts of the planner are the same. And then my memory planner is my memory planner. That's just where it gets all, all the real memories where this is more business and work and all that, more productivity where my um, memory planner is my fun planner. And I do have a few other planners around um, that I'm not using. So my two planner system is still as is. My functional planner and my fun planner. That's it. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. Would love to chat with you in the comments section. Be sure to check out all the links in the description box, which will have more information, of course, and the links to the blog and Instagram, plus so much more. The blog is chaoticcritic.com. Follow me over on Instagram at chaoticcritic. If you're not subscribed to the Chaotic Critic fam, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. And for all of you that are, I thank you. I love you guys. Stay safe and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.